Azot System's scientific approach is based on over 10 years' worth of research and development, but also on in-depth studies with academic research labs such as CNRS and industrial and institutional partnerships. The study of various models of gas exchanges and of scientific publications has made it possible to lay the foundations for a new scientific approach, relying on a committee of experts, hyperbaric physicians, physiologists, physicians. Our experts have analyzed over a million dives of all types in order to identify the common causes of these accidents, and especially their connection with the presence of microbubbles. While the reference area for the microbubble measurements was the area around the heart, Azot Systems team observed that the microbubble measurements at the subclavian level, i.e. under the clavicle, were also relevant. These analyses also confirmed that among all the risk factors connected to decompression sickness, the level of microbubbles measured after the dive associated with the dive's engagement level, i.e. its duration and depth, are an important component of the risk. The O-Dive technology relies on these results and on the scientific consensus stating that a diving procedure that only generates a small amount of bubbles is considered to be safer. Therefore, it is necessary to invite divers, if necessary, to introduce changes in their procedures and practices in order to cause less microbubbles and to increase their safety.